Richard having a little bit of fun with this crowd here in South Carolina. Uh, about ready to wait for the inches of his opponent, Steve Carino. Uh, most of you people that are probably seeing this match right now have purchased the old school interview series with, hosted by Steve Carino and his guest being Tom Pritchard. Now something might have happened between the time of the interview happening that these men are now about to come to blows. He weighs in at 244 pounds. The King of Steve Carino kind of slapping hands in the unfamiliar role of babyface here. Both men are known rule breakers, so Zane Riley's going to have his hands full in this contest. Both men getting set. Steve Carino taking off the jacket, taking it off promptly in non-George South fashion. Once again, folks, just want to remind you that we're here in Dorton High School in Roebuck, South Carolina, just outside of Spartanburg, South Carolina. This is Jake Manning sitting in in the commentary booth. Very uh, unusual position for me. Uh, much like uh, refereeing is an unusual position for Zane Riley and Where's Steve Carino. And Steve Carino, fan favorite, also an unusual position. So all the way around, kind of an unusual position for everybody involved, except for Dr. Tom Pritchard. No stranger to the squared circle. The lockup back in the corner. Zane Riley getting in between these two men, asking for a break. Clean break between both men. Like I said, we got to watch out for both competitors here. They're quite the rule breakers. But I'll tell you this, uh, Steve Carino, uh, seems to be in a pretty good mood. Not in a grouchy mood like he mostly is. Tom Pritchard, nice headlock takeover. Steve Crino, nice reversal. Quick reversal by Steve. Both men back up. Hey, man, we could see a lot of stalemates in this. Like I said, they're both veterans of the rings, ring, uh, rings, that is. I was going to say squared circle again, but I messed up. I'm not that great of a commentator here. I'm no Dr. Tom Pritchard or Steve Carino. I'm sure I'll get notes from both gentlemen. I'm sure Tom Pritchard will, will definitely uh, uh, let me know that I didn't do a good job, much like he did in the interview about me filming and stuff like that. Like I said, I hope, thank you for your purchase of that. This is just bonus material for you folks. Right now, Tom Pritchard's kind of got a bonus of an arm bar. Steve Grill gets a bonus arm drag out of it. Both men are back up. Like I said, don't. Don't be surprised if we see one or two stalemates here like we are right now. Tom Pritchard taking a knee though. Zane Riley asking for a little bit of action. Steve Carino listening to the cheer of those fans, asking the, some little kid, asking him to punch Tom Pritchard in the face. Whoa, both men might go to blows here. Both men are not afraid of that, I can tell you that much. Going back to wrestling. Oh, Dr. Tom goes low for a leg dive. Steve a little slow to get down, but Steve, Steve quickly out and into a hammerlock. Excellent wrestling maneuver. Backing away, Steve Carino, clean break. Fiery baby faces Steve Carino this evening. Oh, they're asking a ref. Oh, Steve Carino's heard this one before. Steve Carino has tried this one before. On me, nonetheless. And the people who know me, Bad Scout Jake Manning, Google me, and you'll realize how ridiculous that is. The 
lock up by both men. Tom Pritchard quick to a top wrist lock, very quick to a top wrist lock. So Steve gets a reversal out of this. He's back down to a knee right now. Zane Riley just checking on Steve, see how he's doing. I think we're gonna be settling in for quite the long contest between these two men. I have noticed several uh, several of the people on the undercard coming out. It's kind of what you'd say, a curtain sellout. I'm seeing people like uh, Cedric Alexander, Caleb Conley coming out and kind of listen, watching these veterans and see what they do. Tom Pritchard in control. Steve's got to watch out for that uh, for that shoulder. The back up. Oh, Steve's hot. Steve is hot. Come a little bit of pull the hair. I'll tell you one thing that, uh, that Tom Pritchard's doing right now is being evasive right now. But one person's not being evasive right now is Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander, like I was saying before, kind of a curtain sellout right now in, in that a lot of young talent right now is watching this match between these two veterans. Nah. Oh. Ah. First of all, hello, Jake Manning. How are you doing, sir? Good, you're good. Yeah, interesting. But yes. A well this, contest between Tom Pritchard and Steve Carino right now. This is Wrestling School 101. Exactly, that's exactly right. Like, so that most people that are watching this are probably seeing this as bonus material on the old school interview series that is hosted by Steve Carino uh, with an interview with Tom Pritchard. Mm -hmm. this, this will go on in the DVD and such. Mm -hmm. So this is quite a nice compliment and stuff like that. Um, so that, like I said, you're gonna see both these men going at it. There's something must have happened between the time we filmed the interview and now, and it's a little bit of heated between these two men. I thought they were on the same page. We're a little mad at each other. Dr. Tom's taking some uh, shortcuts right now. And he's, he's arguing with Zane Riley, like saying the unfamiliar position of referee. Steve Carino, an unfamiliar position of the fiery young baby face here. <laughs> fiery young baby face. He's ready to get into Tom Pritchard. Well, be careful of your words right there. Oh, that, yeah, that, that, that did sound that, bad. That sounded that did real sound bad. That's it real, did. But I appreciate you <laughs> making me feel much better of my commentating out here. But the, I'll tell you one I'm here to make you look good, brother. I, I, I appreciate that. But one person that's not looking good right now is Steve Credo, who is stuck in a headlock right now by Tom Pritchard. Shoots him off. Big shoulder tackle by Tom Pritchard. On the move. Drop down. Oh. Steve Credo, big hip lock. Looking for a big arm drag. You know, that's one maneuver that Steve always says. He goes, typically, you will not see me do an arm drag. When you see me do an arm drag, don't, don't blink, because you might think you're seeing Steam, Ricky Steamboat. I'm not going to lie. When he did it, I thought Ricky Steamboat. It was very good. Steve yeah. Carino is one heck of an arm dragger. I think Steve Carino does not give himself enough credit for these arm drags. They're amazing. Oh, no, he gives himself more than enough credit. More than enough. Oh, He'll okay. let you know. He'll let you know. But I mean, rightfully so. They're great arm drags. But it looks like he's getting ready to give Dom, Tom Pritchard a good old knee to the arm. Taking apart the arm right now, Steve Carino. Being very scientific it. about it. Dr. Tom Pritchard has trained the stars of the future, and I'm sure he's taught many, many a WWE superstars about taking a body part, working it over, working it over slowly, or very fastly. I know there's not a lot of time to wrestle on TV. No, no, no. But, <laughs> but I, I'm sure he's he's more shown the, the best way to do damage to a body part, that is for sure. And right now, Steve Carino got control of that arm. He is not letting go. Tom Pritchard trying to get away. Let's see what type of dirty oh. trick he's got, and it's just a kick to the stomach. Straight forward and to the point. And so is this turnbuckle in the corner. Tom Pritchard's in control of this matchup right now. Let's see if Steve can kind of turn it around. Blocks it. Tom Pritchard eats it in the buckle. That's right, here we go. No, another one right That's here. That's two. That's two. We're probably going to see three coming up right here, folks. Three. Are we going to see a four, Cedric? Look at Steve Carino getting fired up. His crowd getting behind him. They want to see that fourth turnbuckle, Cedric. Oh, the and we got four. Tom's down. He's down. He's down. Oh. Barely a two count. Zane Riley said a two, but he kicked out well before two. And Tom Pritchard is out of the ring. Looks like he's taking the walk back to the locker room, but he's going on the wrong end of the building. A little discombobulated right there. But still smart enough to catch his breath, you know. Well, he, Catch his composure. He, much like what you did with Donnie Dollars earlier, in the sense that to Tom Pritchard is making Steve Carino wrestle his type of match. He's slowing the pace down. He wants a Steve to wrestle his way, not to wrestle Steve's way. 
I mean, Tom Pritchard is, is that called uh, Dr. Tom Pritchard <laughs> for, for, for going to middle school for two years and then dropping out? <laughs> the, man, the man is well versed in, in the doctorage of wrestling. He knows what he's doing. He has his, he has it together. And, and right now he's letting Zane Riley. He better get it together as a referee. Although Zane's doing an excellent job here tonight. He was put in a compromising situation. Oh, back to lockup by both men. Trying to kind of get a break, but no man wants a break. Pull that, pulling the hair a little bit is Dr. Tom. But he knows all the dirty tricks. That's wow. why Dr. Tom did it. Tom got him in the corner again, goes low again. Knows that belly's soft on Carino, kind of working it over a little bit. Now he's got a snap mare into a chin lock here. Good old fashioned chin lock. Taking him down to the mat. See Carino trying to get out. Quick he, reversal oh. again. Like I said, Steve, quick to get out of it. Is Steve back in control. Okay. He's going to work on that arm some more. Yep. But hang in a hold of it, as opposed to most, most of you young guys now. You'll, yeah. you'll do that move and you'll we walk do. away. But Steve. Got, kept control of that arm, but as a smart ring veteran, Tom Pritchard got a little bit of space and got away, and now he's on the outside. Oh, but now he's got control of Steve. Hangs him by the throat, and now he can take his time a little bit. And so it's almost like a little bit of uh, setting him up for him. He goes out, Steve thought he was just gonna go out to complain, but really, what he did is he set him up for a little hangman over there on the rope. And now this is just, you know, tubing and steel that he just dropped Steve Carino's throat over. I think he might have to give Ring Honor a call and say he can't commentate for him sometime <laughs> soon because his larynx is hurt, courtesy of Dr. Tom Pritchard. Well, I don't maybe, think maybe, maybe that's what the whole issue is over. Maybe Dr. Tom wants to do some commentating for Ring of Honor here, and that's why he's so frustrated right here. Like I said, we filmed the, the old school interview hosted by Steve Carino with Tom Pritchard, which most of most you people have seen. And we thank you for that purchase once again for the third time on the, in this match. But as like I said, something must have happened. I think Tom probably found out that Steve's doing commentary for Ring of Honor, your own federation right now. As of right now, yeah. As, as yeah. of right now. Um, I'm sure he's... That may change tomorrow. We don't know. We don't know. But, you know, like I said, maybe uh, Tom's trying to get in on that Ring of Honor paycheck money. Look, it's, it's been doing well for Steve. Yeah. Doing well for Steve right now. Steve, but Steve really needs to be doing well for himself right now and finding a way out of this this uh, hold right here, which I believe is a cravat right it is, now. It is a cravat. Which we saw in the first contest with Caleb Conley. Dr. Tom wrenching it hard. We don't see a lot of cravats, but we saw two of them no. here tonight. It's one of those moves that it comes around once in a blue moon. And, and, and Tom Pritchard is using it to its full potential. I think Caleb Connolly had it, but he did not use it to the full potential like Dr. Tom is. He is really wrenching in you know, on Steve Carino. Getting so him. much leverage on that neck. Yes, exactly. Dynamite drop in said it. Those correspondence classes are really starting to <laughs> hey, pay off. I'm, I'm, I'm working. It's, it's a work in progress, brother. Absolutely. Those elbows to the back of the neck, not helping him at all. Is that you know, a I know where this body's like. Oh! Wake okay, back, big elbow, telegraphed it a little bit too much there, Cedric. And so did oh. Steve Carino. And now Tom Pritchard back in control. Smartly goes straight for the pin and gets a two count. And right back to that chin lock, staying on top of the man. Exactly. He's been working over his neck the whole time. He's just staying on it. That, that's the type of technician that Tom Pritchard is. Like I said, finding that body part, working it over, taking his time, needling it over. He knows that if Steve Carino's neck is hurting, he might not be able to execute all the maneuvers he wants to maneuver. Now it's like he's going from the neck to the to the shoulder blades. Oh, that's, that's even still the upper part of the neck and stuff like that. Trust me, when you get older, <laughs> I, if, if Tom Pritchard did that maneuver to me right now, I would be screaming. I may tap out. You may. I'm a little surprised that Steve was able to withstand that type of punishment, especially after that big, vicious cravat he was put into a little bit earlier. Yeah, but Steve has been through God knows how many hardcore matches and been through so many different things in his life. I'm, I'm sure he's able to take this. And that's true, and all the punishment that he, he uh, probably withstained during his time in Zero One. You yeah. see people like Hashimoto, uh, Otani, and, and various other people like that. Very tough individuals that he faced over there in, in Japan. He's literally been in the ring with some of the hardest hitters in the world. And the most unsafe hitters in the world most, as well. Oh. <laughs> I won't say it to their face, but I'm sure you can. Don't worry, I don't, I don't think Balls Mahoney can swing a chair like he used to. <laughs> we'll have to have Steve let us know one of these days. 
But right now, I think he's trying to find a way out of uh, Tom Pritchard right now. Seems As like I, I think he's uh, almost hoping he'd be in the ring with Balls Mahoney right now. The way that Tom Pritchard's been putting the hurt on him right now. Balls Mahoney gonna put a hold on like that, brother? You're not gonna put a hold well, on like that. He's gonna hit him with a chair and then walk away. Where Tom Pritchard's gonna stay on him and just be a tactician. Steve. Like I said, I think maybe he's hurting his neck. Maybe he's thinking if Steve is in a neck brace, then maybe Sinclair Broadcasting won't fly him in to do commentary. Oh, but jaw jacker. Steve Crane will try to get fired up. Look, look at that fist pump. Look, look at, he's getting it. Looking for the approval of this crowd. This kid's kind of getting behind a little bit. Tom Pritchard trying to stop all that nonsense. With a straight foot to the back. Taking Steve back down. And the knee driven right into the back right there. May have got a few of those short ribs back there. People they discredit a good blow to the short ribs. How quickly that can stop a man. Mm. You know, those floating ribs that kind of sit around there. You know, you get a back breaker a little bit higher up a one way or another, start hurting those short ribs, and all of a sudden breathing gets pretty hard all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. So you gotta watch that, because like I said, Tom Pritchard, quite the tactician. Looked like he's going for Steve Carino's ear, trying to give him a little cauliflower ear there. More Ripping like, and tearing into him. Yeah, he kind of inducted him into Cauliflower Alley right there <laughs> with a Cauliflower ear. Big vertical suplex by Tom Pritchard. Got Steve Carino up with Dr. ease. Tom. I think Dr. Tom's been hitting the gym there. Just a two count, but I wouldn't have been surprised there with a three count. Now, Donnie Dollar's giving you a vertical suplex and going for a, going for a count. Uh, I thought it was a little um, premature of him. I felt like he should have hit a bigger maneuver on you. But I'll tell you what, with the veracity that Tom Pritchard uh, enacted that vertical suplex, I can believe that he could have got a three count uh, probably seven days out of the week. Definitely. With Steve Carino. But, fair, but unfortunately, Steve Carino works eight days out of the week, <laughs> especially when it comes to wrestling. And once again, like I said, that, that, that backbreaker. Breaker. Oh, very close. Very close kick out right there. Very close kick out. Steve Carino pumping the fist, trying to get the people behind him, trying to feed off this energy. And right now, Tom Pritchard ain't having none of that. Nope, just trying to slow it down. Have Steve Carino wrestle his type of match. Like I said, I, I think Tom Pritchard is going for a full um, spinal column workover right now. <laughs> He's going from the lower to the mid and stuff like that. Like I said, if Tom Pritchard was doing all this to me, and I'm sure he would love to do all this to me, <laughs> if you've seen the interview that he conducted earlier with Steve Carino, old school edition, um, he would love to, to, to work, do a number on my spinal column. And like I said, I'd, I'd tap out the way my spinal column feels right now. <laughs> Steve Carino may, may not get a chance to give up. Like he's fading. He looks like Zane Riley may drop his oh. hand down for a third time, but no, it's up. There's still blood flowing. There's still something going. He's still got his wits about him. His people starting to get behind him. He's he's working up to his feet now. Working his way up. Tom Perch is still on him, though, not letting go of the hold. Swinging. Swinging at that gut. Steve. Steve Carino's trying to fight his way out, get a little bit of distance, but Tom Pritchard is just right on him. I think that's what you see a lot of these, these veterans. They're staying right on their competitor. Anytime that some of their working over get a little bit of space, a little bit of time, gives them time to recuperate. Look for the suplex. Got caught. And gets caught with a three count. Small package out of nowhere, Steve Carino. He just needed a little bit of time, just a little bit of space to get the three count on Dr. Tom Pritchard. The half second that Tom Pritchard took to set up that suplex was all Steve Carino needed to get that three count. Like I said, he needs space, creates opportunity. Steve Carino, being the veteran that he is, like you said, only needed a half a second to capitalize and get a victory over Dr. Tom Pritchard. Congratulations, Steve Carino. Does this mean we got to call him Dr. Steve Carino now? I think we should. I think we should. He definitely has the doctor glasses. I'll say that much. Yeah, but I'd be afraid I walked in the doctor's office and saw Steve Carino staring at me. That, that, that might scare me a little. A little. Check your bum. Don't worry. <laughs> I know, I know. I thought you were trying Get 
your number, I want your zip code, I want your address, I'm suing you, and I filed a major complaint with Sam Munchnick as well as Bob Geigel on you. Cedric. It looks like Dr. Tom was another round. <laughs> looks like Dr. Tom is not finished with like, Steve Carino. He feels like he, he wants a mulligan on that whole match. Dr. Tom calling shenanigans. Big body, body slam. slam. Schoolboy. Schoolboy. One, two. He beat him again. And there's another three count. That's two in a row. Steve Carino is. <laughs> so wait, do we call him Dr. Two Carino? I don't know. I think we call him winner. I think we call him a double winner. Du right now, if, if this is a best of seven series. So he has a double doctor right now? Dr. Tom. He's is but halfway away from elimination. <laughs> Dr. Tom still don't look happy. Yeah, he may grab the microphone and challenge him again. I don't know. Who knows? I thought these men were going to go all night. He might and challenge you now. He <laughs> might. He definitely put the verbal beat down on me. He wasn't looking at me. He was looking at you. No, he was definitely looking definitely at you. Definitely looking at you. Okay. We had words earlier during the taping of Steve Carino's old school with Dr. Tom Pritchard, which I, for once again, thank you for the purchase because most of you are probably seeing this, Matt, or seeing this as a bonus. It looks like Dr. Tom is asking for the microphone again. Right. Five, folks, five. Oh. <laughs> this is the biggest bunch of bull I've ever heard. Ring that bell one more time. Give it to me. Are we doing this the third time? Dr. Tom goes low on him again. Whip to the corner. Charge it in, Steve Carino. Sunset, he got him, we got him. One, two, three. <laughs> Beat him again. Steve Carino is elated, and that he should be. That he should be. He beat the doctor three times in a row. <laughs> I think he's done now. Yeah, he's done. He's walking to the back, okay. Looks like Dr. Tom has had enough. He's ready to turn in his doctor license, but most importantly, I think he's going to investigate the legitimacy of Zane Riley's referee license before that happens. There may be a further review on that, but I, all those three counts look clean, look accurate, look crisp and sharp. The cadence was perfect for me. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing, Steve Carino. Who, who is a little boy, a little wrestling fan inside of him, most certainly will agree with all those three counts as well, folks. So, hope you enjoyed Steve Carino versus Dr. Tom Pritchard. That's like King Kong Bundy stuff there. Yeah.